Hey there, this is Morgan Florida Lee, the champion of freedom. Thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to cover some powerful language that you can use in your presentations and your communications to become more persuasive and have more people excited to do business with you, right? But before we get into that, real quick story. I just got back from dinner with my girlfriend. We went around the corner to a restaurant. It was called Golden China, and it's one of my favorite little restaurants. It's one of my, uh, what's the expression I'd like to use? One of my, uh... Guilty little pleasures, as like I like to say. So we go in, and I just love going to restaurants because if it's a good restaurant, you just walk in, and immediately you can just smell all the amazing smells of the, the different types of food. And that place, uh, they have a dish there that I just love, and they call it Singapore curry noodles, right? So it's got this wonderful curry smell to it, right? And it just looks beautiful. I just They did a really great job. There's, there's photos along the wall to make it easy if you're not used to ordering Chinese food. So there's all these beautiful pictures, you know, of like, say, uh, you know, broccoli and beef, right? You can just see the green broccoli and the, the beautiful beef. And when it comes out of that restaurant, right, and they bring it to your table, it looks so close to the photos. And that's one of the, the reasons I really like that place because, you know, it smells wonderful. The food tastes amazing. You know, I love hearing the sounds of, you know, everybody enjoying themselves in the restaurant. It's a really great restaurant and just it was very satisfying to do that, and the reason I bring up this story is because I was sh speaking with my girlfriend Michelle about what can I share with you, what kind of value can I give to you today as part of a series of videos to help take your business to the next level. How can I add some humanity to this industry and actually provide value? And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to actually talk about, and maybe you got a quick hint when I when I share the story with you. We're going to talk about sensory words. And the reason why you'd want to use sensory words in your language is because people operate in different ways, they connect in different ways, and if you're always talking just straight logic to, if you watch some of our other videos, Larry left brain, then you're leaving Robin right brain out of the conversation, right? And so we're going to cover in this series three primary ways, and then we'll sprinkle in a few other ways in which to connect with people. People primarily see the world in one of about three ways. And let's, uh, let's switch markers here. And one of the first ways they'll see the world is visual. You might even notice that I said how they see the world, right? So we'll get into that in a little bit, right? So there's the visuals, right? And then some people are auditory. They hear about things. It sounds good to them, right? That sounds good, right? And if you notice these types of uh, expressions people are using, the types of language that they're using, or yourself, you can better craft a well-rounded message, and we'll get into that in a second. And then the last one, which I may misspell, but let me get a feel for it real quick, is uh, kinesthetic. And if I misspell it, and I'll double-check my spellings here, Am I spelling that right? Yeah, I'm not. E T I C. Kinesthetic, all right? I'm going to get a feel for it, right? So that's an expression that you would use for a kinesthetic learner, a kinesthetic uh, person that experiences the world more through feeling and touch, right? They dip their toes into the hot sand. They hear the waves crashing in the background. They can see the crest of the wave in the distance, right? They can see the sunset, right? They can feel the warmth of the sun, and they can hear the birds in the background, right? Now, this comes into your storytelling, this comes into your marketing, this comes into if you're using analogies and similes and metaphors, if you're telling stories, all these different things, even if you're using Powerful archetypes and personality types within your stories. These three things can make a world of difference. I mean, this is the this is the good stuff, right? So stick with us. We're going to do a few series. We're going to do a few videos in this series, and we're going to go into these more in depth. So my name is Morgan Florida Lee, the champion of freedom. I look forward to seeing you on the next video because I'm confident you're going to love what you have to hear, 
and you'll have a good feeling about it. All right? So take care. Bye-bye.